I'm Chad Brooks, and I'm a pastor here in Louisiana, and I make videos about the Bible, the spiritual life, and the everyday life of a pastor. And one of my biggest changes I have ever made in my life was beginning a daily Bible reading habit. You know, I was weekly or bi-weekly or a handful of times a week uh, for years, but about 10 years ago, that changed and it became a daily habit and everything has been different since then. I'm not talking about professionally, uh, but just personally as a follower of Jesus, daily Bible reading changes everything. And what I want to share with you today is how my friend Jason Mayfield, who's helped tens of thousands of people begin a daily Bible reading habit, might have created the best 365 day like daily Bible reading plan that I've ever seen. But first, let's talk a little bit more about daily Bible reading because I want you to know how I do it. I love daily Bible reading and I try to do it very first thing in the morning because it, make, it lets my mind wake up while I'm reflecting on Jesus and what he has done for me. And I see this pattern in my life now and it really focuses my energies and what I'm choosing to focus on first for the day. Uh, there's something neurological that goes on with what we wake up to and what we go to sleep to. And I do my best to try to wake up to scripture. And then I, I, I try to go to sleep with a little bit of scripture as well. But if we say we're following Jesus, you know, starting off the day in scripture is a way of intentionally priming the pump for the presence of God being in our life. And I don't expect wild and crazy things to happen each day, but I also don't expect them to not happen. James 4, 8 is one of my favorite Bible verses. It says, draw near to God and he will draw near to you. And daily Bible reading is how I draw near to God every single day. Day. And I also, I mark up my Bible and I use a new Bible each year. I have one Bible for the year and I've made videos on that for the last several years and I'm making videos on that this month. But I would recommend you marking up your Bible as well. Think of it as a spiritual record of your life that year. You know, ask questions in the margins, uh, struggle with things that might seem to be tough, uh, notate things down and say, this looks really crazy or something else. I, I've done that before, but highlight the things that jump out to you and write down what your quick thoughts might be. I've got a video on my markup system that I'll put uh, right here where you can see that. But I think you should grab Jason's plan. I think you should grab a fresh, clean Bible. And I think you should start tearing it up in the coming year. And here's why I think Jason has created such a great plan. The main problem I've seen with other one-year plans, which is mainly like the, the, the one-year Bible, which my wife does every day. My mom has done it for like probably 20 years. Great plan, great idea. Has gotten tons of folks into reading in scripture. But I think Jason improves on that idea a lot. You know, the classic 365 one-year Bible it's a bit slow for me. You know, every day in that plan, you hit up an Old Testament, a gospel, a psalm, and a New Testament. Kind of follows the old school daily office idea of things. But I think you can do better because it's a bit skippy. You end up spending like a little bit of time in each book that you're reading that day, and you really fail to understand any sort of a bigger picture. In many ways, it kind of keeps us in a, the Bible is here for propositional truth only, and we forget about the narrative of God being with his people. I've been using the Revised Common Lectionary's daily office reading for the last four or five years, uh, and I love it. I think it's great. I've made a bunch of videos on why I think the daily office is a fantastic practice, both with the prayers as well as the scripture. But if you've not read through the whole Bible ever in a way where you can understand the big stories, the big sequences, the relationships, all of that sort of thing, the daily office, which jumps around as well, and actually has you not finishing books quite often, it's only halfway there as well. It's a good plan, and I'll probably do it again but if you don't have a really good grasp on Genesis to Revelation, it could be a bit better. And that's what I think Jason's plan does fantastic with. Most daily plans are weak in helping folks understand the big picture of Scripture uh, and the big picture of the whole book that you are reading. That's a weakness that I see. So the second thing, 
why Jason might have created my favorite 365 read through the Bible uh, in a year plan. The first is this, you do two New Testament laps in this reading plan. You actually start off and read the New Testament in its entirety uh, for the first, I think it's 95 days of the year. That's, that's a decent pace, but you read it, Matthew, all the way through Revelation. Uh, whole New Testament, that's, that's a big thing to begin seeing that because Scripture doesn't go on this linear scale like this. So many times what we find are our books are kind of like stacking up inside of a timeline and they're all happening at the same place together. And so understanding this is a really great way. So you go to the New Testament twice, once in the first day, once in the first of the year. The second thing is once you finish that first New Testament lap, you start alternating New Testament and Old Testament books as you read them. And, where, and the way Jason ordered the Old Testament together is he put it chronological-ish. That's his language. And I like the chronological -ish. Ish. It helps you really understand the way some of this stuff happens, because just like the New Testament, the Old Testament, it's stuff stacked on top of each other, not just one perfect linear like timeline. This begins to help you understand the big picture side of this. I love it. And you're also reading whole books. So many Bible reading plans, you're going to read the whole book, but it's going to be broken up into so many days, you're going to struggle to understand the beginning and the end. And, and a lot of times you're reading whole books across a one week, which is a fantastic way uh, to read scripture. So I hope you will think about using Jason's Tear Up Your Bible Plan. It's available for free starting today for individuals. You can go down to the link that I have in the description. Uh, you can grab this plan. You can be part of it. And I would encourage you, you know, tear up your Bible this year. And I'm actually going to do it. I'm going to stick Jason's reading plan inside of the Revised Common Lectionary Daily Office readings. And rather than going back in the same cycle I've done the last few years, I'm going to use Jason's readings plan for my time in Scripture this morning. So I'm Chad, and I hope you'll consider going over to my friend Jason and using his reading plan this year because it's awesome.